Get everyone, Be Asian Day here. We've got a special one today. We're gonna to do the unboxing and first impression of this Lenovo ThinkPad X13 Gen 1. Now, this is a 13 inch business class laptop and I have actually done a review video of the X13 Yoga Gen 1. Now that one is a two-in-one version. That means that you can actually flip its screen around and it comes also with a stylus so you can actually convert it to a tablet and then also write on the screen. Now if you haven't checked that review video out, I'll put a link in the description below so you can actually check that out if you're interested after this. So I've got a bit of an idea what to expect for this version of the X13. Now this X13 is the clamshell traditional one that you normally see. So Got a bit of an idea on that. Now I did say this is a special one. So this one I've got here is the Intel version of it. And so what I've got special is I've also got the AMD version of the X13 Gen 1 as well. Now I'd like to first make a big thank you to AMD for sending me this product here. So I can actually have one of these rare occasions where I've actually got both of these on the two different types of configurations. So this one is an i5 of the X13 and right here I've got is the Ryzen 5 version of the X13. So these will head very nicely compete against each other there. So this is going to be a dual unboxing there. So I will create a follow-up video after I spent a little bit of time with these two computers. So expect that a little bit and I'll put a link in the description below when that is made available. So let's start off with the unboxing. As always, as you know, I've got my good old trusty knife here. So which one should I start off with? Let's might as well go with the Intel first. All right, let's get this one going. So let's just make that little slit. These are easy with the Lenovo's. I'm gonna just do that wall one more time. That is dangerous. All right, I'll just bring that up. I might, since I've got the knife out, I might as well just undo the last one for the AMD version as well. There we go. I'll just make that clean cut there. All right, let's put this one away. And I might as well put the AMD version over here and let's start with the Intel version here. So this is going to be quite interesting to see. So as always, let's bring this off here. So let's first off is pull this box out. Now I've got what right here is power cable. As I always like to do is look at the power cable first. I'm just going to put this over here. Now, what do we got? We've got a 65 watt power adapter and then a three prong thing, and this runs off a USB-C. So that's good to see. Let's chuck this on the side here. And then we've got also the laptop. Okay, let's pull this thing out. Oh, that's nice, it's actually using cardboard. So they're actually being very sustainable, environmentally friendly. So it's very easy to recycle. That's good to see that from Lenovo. Oh, and then we've got this laptop here. Now, these, all right, so let's have a look at what this one here we've got. Now this one is very nice and clean. Is there anything else besides that? I'll just have a quick look. All right, just some documentation. We don't need those. We'll read that a little bit later. I'm going to move this down to the bottom here. Around there. All right. So this is the Intel version. I might as well bring out the AMD version out as well. So let's start that one out as well too. I have a feeling it's going to be very similar in what we're going to get. So I think we're going to get... Oh, Let's bring that out. There we go. Again, I'm expecting 65 foot watts and we've got 65 watts as well. And of course it should be USB-C. Yeah, it is USB-C. So I'll just put that along the list over here and drop that down there. And again, good to see it's carbon, sorry, cardboard. That's so nice and sustainable. That's great to see. And I might as well bring this one out here. I'll just drop that down there. And again, on these ones here, let's bring that out. Okay, and here's the AMD version. So I'm gonna keep the AMD to my left side and, I'll, and that which is your right side. All right, so first off, feel-wise, they both feel the exact same. So they both have that nice sort of like poly carbon or plastic. So that can take a fair bit of a beating, which is great to see. I'll just check this on the AMD version, same as well too that whole polycarbon all the way through. Very nice texture. These will last for a long time, these things here. Uh, they weigh pretty much nearly the same here. Yep, they pretty much weigh the same. Pretty much, there's only a few, few differences besides the chipset itself. I do know the AMD version 
uh, with the Intel version, it will support Thunderbolt if it's got that configured. Most of them do have Thunderbolt 3 configured, whereas the AMD version, it's only the USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, so for those two ports there. So it doesn't have the Intel Thunderbolt, of course, uh, for the AMD version, but we'll get some things a little bit from maybe a little bit more surprises from the AMD version or anyway. So let's first off, let's have a look at the both of the sides here. Oh, they do take a fair bit, see, as you can see. Oh, oh, there we go. Now, I do just need to take those things off. Oh, this one came with that one there, this one didn't. That's all right. Okay, so straight up, both look, the keyboards the exact same. They pretty much will use the ThinkPad keyboard which is pretty well known with the same again, both function keys on the right hand side, sorry, left hand side there. And you can do the swap around for the control keys anyway. Anyway, let's get past the trackpads are the same as well. Everything looks the same. We've still got a fingerprint scanner on both of them and the power button is on there. Now I'm just gonna have a quick check. Now with just the hinge wise, that will go 180 degrees for the AMD. And with the Intel version, again, it'll probably be 180 degrees as well too. That's pretty easy. Now I might as well just do the quick one finger test on both of these here, just so you can see how they go. So I'm just gonna link that. Yep, they're both pretty much the hinge is the same here. So it does take a little bit of effort. So just hold that down and pretty much go all the way through there. And I might as well just do this same. I'm just gonna do one of them anyway, because it's the same. I know people ask me this question, if it does the lid open as it turns, and I'm gonna to have to tell you it does not. So it's got a good, nice, very, very nice shut clamp system, but it is, does take a little bit of time to open up one finger, of course. Okay, now I'm just gonna bring this in. Now this one okay, here is the Intel i5 version, and this one is the Ryzen 5. Now this is the Ryzen Pro 5, okay? So what makes the difference here? So with the Intel, they've got the V Pro, and with the Pro version, it will do the AMD Management Pro system there. So And for the big organization, they actually have these manageability as well as security built in, and so they actually can, IT department can actually manage these two computers in a way, so it's pretty good to see. All right, let's kind of boot these things up. I do have three, two different ones, so and we will boot these up. Now I will be running the benchmarks and also the thermals and testing out the temperatures and fan noise of both of these two computers in my review video. So do check those two out. But here we go. I don't think we've got one fired up. How about this one here? This one's probably been imaged with my organization. So that's probably the reason why it's fired. Whereas this one's completely gonna be, maybe needs some more power for this. Sometimes it does need more power, but that's all right, we'll get this one through. This will have probably finished its setup already. Whereas this one has not, but pretty much it. But let's, I'll have a quick look at this one here. All right, so you can see the screen here is quite nice. So you've got this sort of a little bit, fair bit of bezel on the top and a fair bit of bezel on the side. Oh, sorry, on the bottom, but on the side, it's not too much. It's about a medium length of bezel, I've got to probably admit. So it's doing all right. There and of course with the, it's got a 720p webcam on both of these and we've also got the privacy shutter on those two as well too. So I will get this one going. It's probably just needs to be connected to power and that's quite usual. Some of them do, they haven't been fully set up yet. So I'll connect these to power, but this is just unboxing just to have a quick first impression as well. I will be putting these two X13s through its pace. And if you haven't actually subscribed to my channel, do subscribe just to get the notifications when I do upload that video out for you. You. And if you actually enjoyed this video or find it informative, smack that like button for me. And if you, again, if I haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to my channel. I do try to upload a new video every week as well. And of course, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.